Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another really really good video for you guys So yesterday I had the ending of a tournament. Um, it wasn't the most competitive tournament in the world It was a pretty easy win for us. I don't want to put that on the channel It was like a sweep literally every single round I don't think we dropped the game nor do I think we even tried to be fair um, So I'm not gonna put that in a video since I only like to show you guys competitive stuff I do have the finals for a league in which I substituted very last minute for a team to help them out um, so I'm probably going to put that as well as I have the NA open today and I'm probably going to get, if I can make it to the finals, hopefully, which we have seven out of seven or sorry, six out of seven times, then I will put whatever finals gameplay win or loss that we have, um, into a video since I have been lacking a lot on that pro gameplay. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to actually going to be playing Piper on Siege. So you guys can see the amount of just, sorry for that noise. It's, it's the Twitch thing, which actually reminds me, thank God that just came off. Kind of scared me a little, but I what I need you guys to do is I need you guys to go to the description below and follow my Twitch. Now, I've been streaming every single day almost on there, usually around 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm streaming. Um, I could start a little bit earlier. I could start a little bit later. I don't really have a fixed schedule, but everyone seems to be loving the Twitch. I do have the face cam there, so if you guys want to see what I look like, you can always hop on the Twitch and check it out. But... You know, the numbers have been great, the feedback has been great, and a lot of you guys have really enjoyed the Twitch and have come into chat and said, I didn't know you streamed. Um, definitely say it in the YouTube uh, video so a bunch of people can hop over. Now, I just did start streaming, and I was waiting until I became consistent before I shouted it out, but definitely, guys, go and follow the Twitch. It's, it's really good. I can connect with you guys, talk with you guys for hours on end. So definitely hop in the chat. But anyways, what we're going to be doing today is playing some Piper on Siege. Some assembly required. This is definitely not a Piper map. You guys can notice we're playing with Jig the Frank and Kang the Colt. Our goal is going to be to open up the map as much as we can and just get some Piper gameplay. So with that being said, let's hop into the first game. Okay, so here we go into the first game. On top of playing this really trash comp, um, we, we also have no matchmaking, so we're not using any Omen Bobby matchmaking or anything like that. So we are going to be facing a lot of top teams. So the goal right now, we have to win the first bot or we're basically screwed. But the goal is to break as many walls as possible. Now, this is on me a little bit, but I can't really do anything until those walls are broken. So this is on King Garmo and Frank, the, and Jigsaw the Frank to basically open as many walls as possible. Uh, we're going to be juking that over there. We do have a spike here. Okay, let's see what we can do here. That is the last bolt of this round. No, it's not worth the jump. Okay, so it's this is tough. They did get the first ones. This is going to be super, super hard for us to defend, obviously. Uh, the Siege Bot's going to take care of that bear, so I'm not even going to shoot at it. If we can get that dynamite down, that'd be huge. Okay. Okay, so we did, we did need Kangarmo alive for this bot, unfortunately. That would have helped a ton. Could have jumped back. Hit him with some bombs. Try and take out this Nita, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do so. Now, this is where it gets tough because Piper is brutal on defense. Absolutely brutal. So, Mike's going to go down. They didn't do too much damage, to be fair, but if they do get one more push, it's likely that they will win the game. So, I'm just doing my job over here. I'm tapping him a bit, but I do need a few more walls open so I can use the right side. I mean, the left side as well as the right. I clicked auto in by accident. Hopefully me and Kangarmo can pinch. Alright, perfect right there. Perfect wall breaking over there by Kangarmo. I was going to go up and use my super to wall break, but he did it for me. Absolutely perfectly played. Going to be able to get that spike. So this is what we're talking about. This is where we can really start tapping. Now usually this comp is actually very strong. You just throw a Pam instead of the Piper, but the Piper is definitely way more high skill capped. And it could definitely block them off really, really well from from winning mid control if you're really tapping him as Piper. So we're just going to be hitting the safe over here. Jigsaw is going to get a super down. We're doing a really good amount of damage. We actually might be able to end it. I'm going to go close and use a bomb. Okay, so it's actually not going to hit at all. I actually did get a kill and actually hit the hit the dynamite. So we did do some really, really good bomb damage. But it didn't end the game. Uh, one Frank super or one Colt super should do it. We're going to lose this round, but we do have time. We just need a couple kills, and we're going to be able to walk up and kill their Ike. Okay, it's so actually getting a little bit close here. Maybe they'll type, type, oh, not type, tap that spike once. Jigsaw, unfortunately, is going to die. We're going to be able to get that Nita, though. And we're just hoping Kang can walk up. If Kang is able to get that kill and go onto the safe, we will be able to win the game. 
Okay, so it looks like Keg is going to go down, actually. So they are on the safe now. I'm going to be able to take out that Dynamite. Kang with a really good super over there. I'm just going to jump forward over here. Oh, he body blocked it. No, okay, but I think we're fine. We, we did get two kills. One kill by me, one kill by Kang. And they did body block the bot really, really well. So we should be fine. Not much that they could do with it being so open right now. Although I am whiffing my shots a bit. Kang is going to walk up. Jigsaw with the kill. I'm just going to walk forward. Hopefully nobody's body blocking this time. Oh, they are. They're body blocking to the best of their abilities. Wow. Okay, Kang should be able to end it though. Okay, there we go. So finally we were able to end it. It's definitely a tough game when you have to use the Piper. That's kind of surprising you got to start playing. Like, you can see their trophies. Even though we're trying to face top players, they're still we're still facing, like, people that aren't really that close to us in Cups. So hopefully we can face a better team. But this is definitely going to be a really, really big challenge to see if we can actually pull this off and win. But let's hop into the second game and let's see if we can keep this going. Okay, so here we go into the second game. And this is going to be a tough one because... Although we're facing tanks, that's really good when it's open. It's going to be very, very, very hard to get this map open. So let's see what we can do here. Trying to tap this bull. He's going to be able to take us down very likely. Okay, he's not going to... Jigsaw is doing a great job. He did get a little too overexcited, so he is going to go down over there. A uh, really good kill over there by King Garmo. Hope they can get a tap so I can break this area right over here. Gonna be able to hit the bolt once too, which is really good. And it's 2-2 right now with this bolt over here. I don't think we're gonna be able to get this kill, unfortunately, no. So again, they're gonna be winning the first one. Now, although it is super important that we win the first one, especially this since against this comp, which is super, super tanky and probably will have a really, really good first attack. It appears like it's really not the end of the world, so that's good. Uh, we do need Jigsaw to super over here. Gonna jump up and get really good damage towards that bot. Jigsaw did get a super back, so this is really, really good defense over here. They only did 16%, which is super good when they have double tank Penny. Kang with a good super, gonna take out that Penny turret as well as the Penny. Ooh, the bull is so one shot, it hurts. Okay, so it looks like they're actually gonna pick up the second wave too. And I think we have to break this left side a little bit more. We're gonna get this bolt and just jump back. If we could take out that bolt, it would be absolutely huge for the attack. To be honest, if we could take out any of them, it would be huge. Just trying to get my super at this point. Jigsaw is gonna have another good super. We're gonna be able to tap him. We're gonna jump up, which is gonna help take out the the Daryl, but there's not much that we could do to hit that robot. So we're just gonna move up over here and try and target that penny. Okay, so they have a lot of damage done. They could honestly just bull or Daryl charge right in onto the safe and do a ton of damage. So I'm a little bit worried about that. We're going to be able to take out the bull over there. We got close enough for an auto-aim shot. We're going to be able to take out the Daryl as well. To be honest, all three of them can do a really, really good amount of work to our Ike without even, like, they don't even need a bot, to be honest. If we were in their shoes, I'd be very, very confident in us winning the game. So if I could tap this bull twice. Oh, but he just cashes it in. Okay. We can't let this penny get too close to our Ike. Just because he does have that turret. Or she has that turret. So we're doing a pretty good job holding off mid for now. They are probably going to have some really good defense though. Going to jump away. He's going to be hit twice. Going to be able to kill him as well. And Jigsaw's just going off on the safe right now. We're going off. We're doing a ton of damage, and that's actually going to end the game. Wow, so we were actually get, able to get the one push. We had re one really strong push, and honestly, shout out to Jigsaw there. He played absolutely incredible. Um, that's a big shocker, especially when you're talking about Jigsaw, but he actually played tremendous, so big shout out to him. Let's hop into the third game, and let's see if we can keep the win streak going. So here we go into the third game, and we're going to be facing... Double thrower Rosa, so that's going to be very interesting. This is going to be super hard for us to beat, especially in the first wave, but perhaps as it goes on and we open it up, it'll actually be a lot easier, obviously, since they are double throwers. So we're going to be able to walk up here. Oh no, we missed the shot. 
We gotta get into the bush to do and get amount of damage. No. Okay, we weren't able to do so. We do have two, so all we need is one more bolt. We're gonna have two attempts at it. Oh, Kang actually got it. No way. That's crazy. I didn't think Kang would even have a shot at that one. Okay, so we're gonna go down again. It's gonna be super tough for us to get kills until these walls are gone. So hopefully Jigsaw and Kang can do a really good job with that. Kang did just get a kill on the Rosa. Jigsaw's gonna go down. You can see it's already a little bit more open. We're gonna try and stay more on the right side. For obvious reasons, the walls are taken out. So let's see what we're doing here. Kang is just chilling on that right side. Okay, this one's gonna be tough. I don't think we're gonna do too much damage here. That was a really good control super by that Barley. That Dynamite also focusing us is really good. So yeah, they had a good defense. Only let us do 31%. And we do have a pretty high damage comp, so that's pretty good. Uh, good work over there by Jigsaw to break the wall. We're going to be able to double tap the Barley because of it. And at this point, we should have full control. There really shouldn't be any lapses. Uh, we should be able to win on that next push. Rose is just going to try and basically just bully us with her HP and come towards us. The Barley's already like given up. He's like, okay, you know, walls are down. We're a thrower. We need walls. It's over. Jigsaw's doing his toxic spins as always. Let's break this wall. I don't want a mic hiding behind it. Oh, we left one though. The mic's trying to sneak over here and get one gem. We're not going to allow that to happen. It looks like the Barley's just full on giving up, but he did almost kill us to be fair. But yeah, I'm, ex I'm expecting this to be the final push of the game. Hopefully the other team just gave up because they know they lost. And we can hop into the next one. Looks like the Barley's actually a bot. So yeah, we're spamming that. It's going to be a GG from there. And that's going to be a really quick third game. So that was a really good example of how drastically things change when you open up the map. We're going to hop into the fourth and final game for the video. And hopefully you guys enjoy because I do have a tournament in 13 minutes. So i got to finish up this video. But let's see if we can go 4-0. And hopefully you guys enjoy the Piper gameplay. Okay, so here we go in the next game, and this is going to be our final one. I didn't see the comps because I was actually wishing my boy Squashy good luck. So Squashy, if you're watching this, uh, good luck buddy in Gamergy. He's actually had a huge LAN finals today, so hopefully he does get that dub. Unfortunately, it was Spanish only, so I wasn't able to compete. But, you know, I'm hoping my boy does come out with the win. So we're able to get two kills over there and almost a third on the Rosa, but we're not going to be able to do so. Uh, hopefully we can just break the walls right here. So we're opening up the mat a lot more. The Barley is going to be pushed out to the left side. We're not going to be able to get that, obviously, because there is some Barley super shots there. Okay, so the Barley... Oh, God. Okay, I kind, of, I kind of scared me. It looks like the Rose is just going to be hammering away at our bot. We're going to be able to double tap it over there. We're going to be able to hit the Dynamite as well. And now we're just going to be going off at the safe. So we're going to do 34%. Not good, not bad. Kind of just average. Gonna break this wall. Hopefully you can hit that dynamite. We're not gonna be able to because he's not gonna be in our range. Yeah, they're gonna do a lot of damage to us, at least with the area control. It looks like we're gonna be fine. It looks like the roses give it up even though they are in the lead. It just shows how like big of an effect opening up that walls do. Or those walls, not that walls. Yeah, we're just gonna jump. Oh, Barley got caught in that one. Okay, but yeah, this one's looking like a win. Double ta uh, double thrower doesn't really do too well on defense. The Rose is actually not bad, but it looks like the Rosa has given up. Oh, he's just juking out here. He's not even shooting. He's just showing off by juking. Okay. But yeah, we're going to be a very close to one shot, but it looks like they've just given up. So we're going to try and double tap the Barley. Unsuccessful, but we're going to hit the third shot. And yeah, it looks like this is going to end the game. Just going to go up here. A little bit of BM. Tried to jump over, wasn't able to do so, but Jigsaw is going to finish it up. That's going to be the end of the fourth game, and that's going to be it. So anyways, thank you for to Jig and Kang for the carries. Um, they're both super, super good players, Legends and Brawl Stars. But that's going to be it for today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed... Um, enjoyed uh, sorry, a little bit of a wording, uh, miswording there. It's super early. But yeah, um, I do have a big tournament, two big tournaments actually today, so best of luck to myself, I guess. And yeah, definitely pop into those Twitch streams, um, close to getting partnered, and also it's just like a really good opportunity for us to mingle and be able to talk to each other, 
for hours on end. You guys can ask me anything. I'll give you guys answers. But yeah, that's going to be it. That's going to be it for today. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.